Hi guys, James Lumley here from Brabus Marine London Group down at our base in Southampton, Swanwick Marina. And behind me today is something really, really exciting. This is the first Shadow 900 into the UK. Uh, behind me here you'll see this awesome, awesome platinum grey Brabus Shadow 900 with a sun top. Camo wrap exterior, what a boat. So literally just arrived with us. We've just had the camo wrap fitted to her really sets off that nice platinum grey gel coat colour behind. Just scanning from bow to stern, say what a weapon. 60 plus knots from a pair of 450 V8 Mercury racing outboard engines. There's simply nothing else faster in the Solent. There's still a practical use. Day boat, it's got two beds, it's got air conditioning, it's got big TVs, it's literally loaded with everything you could possibly want on the ultimate boys toy. So weighing in just over 38 feet long, four and a half tons, based on the Mark II Axapar 37 hull, the Revolution launched in January 2020 at Dusseldorf. Brabus take the boat to another level, so lots of uh, additional strength put into the, the hull. It's a 20 degree twin step, very profile aggressive hull underneath. It's a very soft ride. We softened it up even from the Mark 1 boats which uh, were based on the, the Shadow 800 which is the model before this. We're a pair of 400 Mercury six cylinder supercharged engines. The Mark 2 hull say it's softer, it's more efficient, slightly more aggressive on the front, still that really sharp point of entry. So from all angles absolutely drop dead gorgeous. We've got that sun top middle canopy up there so that gives an opening centre section if you want to be out in the sun and the whole thing is enclosed uh, with a canvas pack if you want to to use the boat when the weather's not so nice. Coming around the back here, you see on the transom we've got a pair of LED underwater lights there and then the party piece of the boat really hardly any of these in Europe at the moment. So it's a 4.6 litre supercharged V8 engine based on what was originally the 300 Mercury racing engine launched last year. So they bolt a supercharger in, it's a 2.4 litre water cooled supercharger and it really does uh, excite the boat. Very, very different animal to drive to the outgoing Shadow 800. If you have a look on my channel, you'll see us running one of those last year doing just over 50 knots. So it's really stepped up a, a whole nother league. Uh, we've got 20 inch four blade Rev4 props on the back there. Um, she's got things like advanced midsection on the engines here. So we've got a uh, switchable exhaust system, uh, heavy duty gear cases. So the whole thing's built um, full Mercury warranty on them as well. Despite them being a race package, they've still got comprehensive warranty. Let's head on up, take a look on board. So say 2020 boat. Uh, lots of different finishes, but this particular boat done in platinum grey gel coat. And then we've got this lovely red silver tex upholstery. Sets off the boat really nicely. Uh, she's got the carbon fibre pack, so we see things like down here on the aft lockers. Lovely exposed weave carbon fibre. Just talking you through the sort of practicalities on the boat. We've got lockers in the aft quarters, so we've got a pull out whale electric shower there. We've got emergency bilge pump things like all the lines included with the boat. Nice little touches with gas struts on the lockers. You can see these beautiful carbon panels. Uh, flagpole staff. Uh, this is for the aft deck sun canopy. So off the back of the uh, the roof here, you've got this lovely sun top with a couple of um, carbon fibre poles that fit in there to give you sun protection. Uh, full Eztec pack on the deck. So you see this nice little inlay with the red and black detailing. Shadow 900 logos up there running around the deck and then on the starboard side here again just another handy deep storage locker boat comes with things like ropes fenders what have you uh, obviously as a brabus finish we've got painted black uh, rails the handrails are an option uh, which we take on every boat we build for stock and if we just stand on the top and have a look what's on the arch so we've got a uh, a simrad 4g uh, radar up top there there's a remote control spotlight twin VHF aerials, um, LED navigation lights on top. The whole arch structure actually here drops down aft. So if you've got bridge uh, height restrictions in certain places, makes it a little easier to get in. And then you've, uh, you've got a horn up there as well. 
stepping back down, you'll immediately notice how deep these ball walks are here. So if you've got kids or dare I say, um, bringing your dogs on and what have you, you know, it's a really, it's a practical safe boat when you're walking around and uh, loads and loads of space, sunbathing, seating. It's really well thought out. So with all the attributes that Axfar have done so well with the models they've built over the years, Brabus just stepping it up to another league in terms of the fit and finish on this boat. Uh, so she's got the storage locker option in the back here. So you see we've got this big sort of permanent sunbed with the aft combing there to give you a, a headrest. We'll just pop this up and have a look inside. For those that don't want that aft cabin package but still want to carry your, your paddle boards, uh, you know, maybe a small dinghy and outboard, uh, loads of water sports equipment. We've got this massive cavernous locker. It's got to be two and a half feet deep by about seven feet wide i would say step down in the middle there loads of room for storing there all the covers and and bits and pieces that you have inevitably on every boat somewhere uh, always short of storage nice finished lockers on the back here on the underside so there's no real exposed bits of fiberglass is very neat and tidy design good size gas strut on that and if we head on forward see here we've got a uh, fire extinguisher in a in a box we've got little blue feature lights around the the side decks and here in the cockpit contrast nicely on the gray we head up forward uh, worth noting we'll open these in a minute from the inside but we've got the two uh, trademark now mark two gold wing doors that gives you a load of natural light downstairs easy access into the cabin and then we've got this nice little seating area up on the bow uh, secondary cushion on top of the anchor locker massive ab pack so we've got additional speakers here amplifiers subwoofers you name it this boat's got it uh, nice stainless steel anchor up forward there and if we just lift the locker up have a look inside so we've got a good sized winch lovely stainless steel anchor chain up forward there and the locker's separated off here so i've got now a storage area here Handy for uh, for cleaning kit, you know, maybe somewhere to store your fenders and what have you. Plug in for shore power. Over on this side, we've got a breaker for the anchor, anchor control, fresh water tank, filler here, and then if you just tuck round with the camera there, you can see the main domestic breaker panel and the uh, galvanic isolator on the on the shore power system. Up top on the roof, you can see these lovely integrated carbon fiber spotlights really cool running if you're into using the boat 24 7 just a, a nice feature if you're running along at dark and then coming back aft uh, seating wise so we've got four fixed seats across the back nice brabus detailing here with little inlaid logos we've got this beautiful cross stitch upholstery Massive table, obviously with it in its stowed position at the moment, so we've got plenty of deck space walking around. And open that up. And you can spin three seats on the helm around 180 degrees, and then you've got this nice dining area for seven, and you could even stick a couple of director's chairs here if you want a bit more space for, for dining with mates. Again, more storage lockers, things like under the decks here. We've got handy storage both sides, one here and one here. Uh, we've got Dometic refrigerator drawers here, so one of those either side of the, the helm seats here. Again, little carbon fibre detailing on the backs of the seats. We've got these drop down cushions, so the option whether you want to drive the boat sitting or standing, you've got the option here. These also slide forwards and backwards to get a real comfy position when you're at the helm. And then I suppose the party piece for, uh, for any owner operator is this really, really cool helm. So we've got absolutely loaded with gear premium navigation equipment. So we've got the glass bridge Simrad displays here with two touchscreen plotters in front of the helm. And then repeated over on the port side here, we've got two further screens. They all repeat or they run individual information. So we've got things like set up with my chart on here at the moment and engine controls. But as with all Simrad equipment, we've got options to run our AV through here. We've got loads of different displays for engine parameters, say radar, uh, fish finder, all of these sort of things. So it's a very, um, very intuitive system. Obviously being glass bridge, it's very pretty to look at. And it contrasts really nicely with this hand laid carbon fiber dash that runs all the way across here, port to starboard. Nice little LED switches here. 
for things like lighting and then we've got washers wipers uh, the roof itself above us is electric and there's a protective cover on the outside of it at the moment so you can't see the sun through it but you get the idea of how that works for those days when you want to be out and about and as I said before these sort of zip-in panels here this can be enclosed with a clear acrylic and then we've got these nice panels that go around the sides and the stern of course harbour covers to protect all of this individually once the um, the boat's put to bed and you're off back at home and then in front of us at the helm so we've got a Brabus multifunction uh, it's Italian steering wheel here with um, controls for things like the bow thruster trim tabs stereo controls so really when you're running at speed you can keep your hands on the wheel and you've got touch control of everything nicely to hand and then Mercury's uh, digital throttle and shift here on my starboard hand so I've got one finger in and out of gear controls you've got single lever control if you want to put this one out of the way and run both engines together on one lever and then back in port when it's time to berth engines into neutral you activate the joystick here and then we've got JPO so this is uh, Mercury's proprietary joystick control system push the side here it will actually steer the two outboards independently without the use of the wheel twist the top the engines are going one ahead one astern and giving you sideways thrust so it really is for want of a better word point and shoot parking for those not on boats regularly it's a real game changer and then the further addition of this is the option with the skyhook button here that takes a dynamic position with GPS and it will hold the boat on station engaging engines as required to hold the boat in the tide and the wind really handy waiting for the fuel dock things like that makes life a lot easier constantly having to be looking at the helm controls uh, we've got a remote uh, DSC VHF handset here for Simrad, the main controller's down in the cabin and then we've got the uh, immobiliser system for the engines and the two starts and of course the kill cord down the bottom there. Handy pocket for storing bits and pieces, uh, we've got things like a, a charging point for mobile phone up here, of course speakers nice close to the helm for when you're running. Practical touches, things like battery switches here underneath the seat so you're not having to crawl through the bilges to turn the engines on when you first arrive. And again, you can see Brabus detailing throughout on the floors, illuminated logos here on the sills, leather inlaid on the handles here, and a nice little build plaque here from Constantine. So it's a very, um, it's a very, very well finished boat, a real step up from, from anything else you'll find at this sort of size. Going into the cabin now. So I just crouch down so you can take it in in one piece to begin with. So we've got a U shape. Uh, sorry L shape here on the starboard and we've got a fixed single um, six foot wide double bed there with um, a toilet under this seat cushion these little steps here lift up to give you um, either access to go out to side deck or a bit more space around the bed in the evening we've got uh, Brabus's multi-touch light control panel here so it's LED lighting throughout lots of little feature detailing and this is the control for the air conditioning system which has got uh, a big outlet here just below the sink so you can see things like the LED lighting here around the mirror we've got little pop-out coat hooks you can see the lights up in the ceiling so it's a really nice classy finish in here hand stitch laid um, leather mat on the floor there and the upholstery is a mixture of Alcantara and leather in here so we've got black Alcantara on the uh, bed here so you can see how the panels lift up and I'll just pop these side gull wing doors up and see how much more light we get in here. If I stand back now, see how that's been transformed instantly. Massive amount of light, say it's a bit more space for, for climbing in and out of the cabin if you've got a boatload back in the main cockpit area here. And they've got mesh um, sort of glass windows above us in those panels uh, the wrap covers over the top of them but it's uh, it lets a lot of light in and then tucked up on the wall here we've got the optional media package so it's a media wall 40 inch tv led with um, dvd player you can see the toilet tucked away here there's an electric electric flush toilet here bags with all the manuals and what have you say so special order boats these it's rare to have one available in stock just uh with COVID happening as it did, um, it came as available from the factory. So we jumped at the opportunity to have the boat and say she's available to put on the water for this season here in uh, in 2020, either in the UK, or of course we've got multiple other 
dealerships around the world so we can ship off to our to receive uh, with one of our other offices if you're baiting elsewhere so if you'd like to inquire further about how easy it is to move one of these please um, get in touch with me and I can talk you through the logistics of shipping or moving by road you just come up on the bow now you can see how those gull wing doors open up to give you the access down into the cabins right, so we've got 730 litres of fuel on board burning around 100 litres an hour cruise if you're sensible um, you don't want to know what they burn flat out but it's uh, it's a thirsty beast with a pair of supercharged engines obviously covering ground cruising speed really around 30 knots on something like this but bury the throttles and she's up in excess of 60 plus knots so um yeah very little out on the water that will um, that will keep up with her that isn't a pure out and out race boat and of course she's still got all the practical touches we've talked about already uh, we're cat b rated for 10 people on board so that's uh, really useful if you're into entertaining with uh, with lots of friends and family just stand back so you can take in the side profile here ready to go so um, other than a pdi we're just waiting for the engineers to come and test the engines and she'll shortly then be in the water so we can run up the air conditioning systems and just final tuning before she's ready for either onward shipping or delivery here in the uk so if you'd like to know more say so my name is james lumley from brabus marine london group we're also the axapar london group so we've got always availability of these special order boats um, i've also got a, a shadow 500 here in swanwick which i can show you if you'd like to see one for comparison and of course if you'd like to see one running uh, there's a shadow 800 video on my channel from last year to give you an idea of how these perform when they're up and running so my mobile is plus four four seven seven four seven six eight six five eight seven or it's james.lumley at brabusmarinelondongroup.com i can send you a full library of photos specs of this boat or if you're interested in building something to your own spec for 2021 season and beyond happy to talk about new projects as well i hope you enjoyed the tour today say so the boats here at swanwick ready to go 2020 we look forward to hearing from you